Welcome to Cynthia Porter Studio. I'm Cindy and this is my exploration in the fluid art. Let's begin. Happy St. Patrick's Day, y'all. 2023. Now I have to make this quick because people are still sleeping in my house and I have to keep my voice down. But in celebration, I thought it was time that we shared a pot of gold with our friends. So I'm really glad you all are here. This is a celebration of you. So be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to myself, Joanne, Mary, Janet, and Donna to be eligible to be in this contest. And if you can do me a favor, can you put U.S. if you're in the U.S.? Because the contest is only open to those in the U.S. for logistics reasons. Oh, and you need to be entered by Monday, um, March 20th at midnight. The details along with links to the other ladies' videos is all listed in the description. I'm also going to list my paints in the description as well. And just to let you know, I mixed all of these with only water just until the paint would flow off the stick and fall into the paint without leaving a mound. So hold on to your shamrocks because a little bit later I'm going to tell you the secret to finding four leaf clovers. So now I'm going to hush and let you guys listen to some music. Love y'all.
I've never shared this secret with anyone, so everyone needs to listen very close. It's just like those brain teasers where you might have a couple of thousand ones on a piece of paper and you have to find the one eye as fast as possible. Now most all clovers have a little bit of white towards the center on each leaf. With three leaf clovers, that makes a triangle. And with four or more leaves, it makes a circle. So I can just be walking through the grass and look down and see the circle. You don't have to get down on your knees counting leaves. I have found mutations with all kinds of multiple leaves. I think the one that had the most, I think, had 11. And now you know how I do it. You look for the circles amongst all the triangles. So now I'm going to take you guys back to music. And remember, don't tell the secret. For those of you that don't know, these are drips and they pull the composition right off our paintings. So we scrape those right off. Now let me show you the close-up of this beautiful piece. It is so vibrant. I think that's from using water only with my paints. It's just really beautiful and this is one of my favorites. I'm thinking since I have leftover green, I need to do a much larger piece so I can hang it in my bedroom. I want to thank my Friday with Friends ladies for painting with me this Friday and I want to thank all of you for being here and be sure to follow the rules for the contest. Now I'm going to get back to showing you these wet results and then I'm going to show you the dried results and I'm going to wish you all a bunch of peace, love, light and lots and lots of laughter and the best of luck. Love y'all. And if you're here for the premiere, please follow on to It's Art by Donnie M. Bye-bye.